Hi. Uh, so, this is my first lecture on uh, regression analysis. Uh, I would like to introduce uh, myself as uh, Dr. Soman Maithi. Uh, I did my BSc and uh, MSc in uh, statistics and uh, received a PhD degree from uh, Indian Statistical Institute, Kolkata. Uh, currently, I am a faculty at uh, Indian Institute of uh, Technology, Kharagpur and uh, Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research, Pune. Uh, I am grateful to both the institute uh, for giving me this opportunity to work uh, on NPTEL project. So, uh, here is the uh, course uh, a prerequisite. Uh, so, I would expect uh, the uh, viewers or especially the students uh, you know to know um, basics of uh, probability and uh, statistics and uh, statistical inference. So, uh, more precisely you know I would like uh, the viewer to know the um, discrete and uh, probability discrete uh, probability and also uh, continuous uh, uh, probability distributions uh, and uh, say uh, point estimation, interval estimation and also you know uh, testing of uh, hypothesis. So, this course is uh, divided into several topics or module. So, here at the topics is a simple linear regression, uh, multiple linear regression, uh, selecting the best uh, regression model, uh, multi collinearity, model adequacy checking, uh, test for influential observations and then you know transformation and weighting to correct uh, model inadequacies. Uh, dummy variables, uh, polynomial regression, uh, generalized uh, linear models, nonlinear estimation and uh, regression models uh, with uh, autocorrelated errors, measurement errors and uh, calibration problem. And uh, finally, we will be uh, solving some problems. So, I will have some uh, sort of tutorial classes and uh, I would be basically following these two uh, books. The first one is uh, Applied Regression Analysis by Draper and Smith and uh, the second one is Introduction to Linear Regression Analysis uh, by Montgomery, Peck and uh, Bining. Okay. So, here is the content of uh, today's lecture. So, today basically you know I will introduce what is uh, regression analysis and then uh, I will be talking about uh, simple linear uh, regression uh, and uh, least, least square estimation of the parameter that means the regression uh, coefficients. So, let me talk about uh, what is regression analysis. So, regression analysis is a statistical tool for investigating the relations uh, relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variable. Uh, yes, just now I will give an example to explain you know, what, I, what I mean by uh, you know dependent variable and uh, independent variables. And regression analysis is widely used for prediction and uh, forecasting and uh, it has application in uh, 
different fields like uh, economics, uh, management, uh, life and biological science, physical and uh, chemical science, uh, engineering and uh, social science. Okay. So, here is the example, I, I told that you know I will give an example to explain uh, what I mean by independent and uh, dependent variable. So, I said that you know regression analysis is a statistical tool for investigating the relationship between uh, a dependent variable and uh, one or more independent variable. So, consider this example, suppose you are a uh, marketing analyst for Disney toys and uh, you gather the following data. The first column is uh, uh, advertising cost and uh, the second one is uh, sales amount. Okay. So, here this uh, and what we want is that we uh, what is the relationship between the sales and uh, advertising cost. Okay. So, here you can see that this uh, the amount of money uh, we will be I mean we want to spend that that is sort of controlled variable you can you can decide how much amount of money you want to spend for uh, advertising, but uh, the sales amount is, uh, is, is not a controlled variable, you cannot control the uh, sales amount. So, uh, the sales amount is a dependent variable, it depends on uh, advertisement cost, uh, not only maybe this is one factor, uh, but uh, it depends on the amount of money spent on advertisement. Uh, so, this is a dependent variable, so, uh, but uh, the uh, advertising cost is an independent variable, also we call it controlled variable, you can control it. Okay. So, usually, so I hope that you understood the difference between the independent and dependent variable. So, usually, this uh, variable which is you know independent uh, this is denoted by x and uh, x is a regressor variable regressor variable or also we call it uh, independent variable independent variable, whereas uh, the sales amount it uh, we do not have any control on uh, sales amount uh, and uh, this one is this type of variables is uh, denoted by y and uh, y is a response variable. And also, uh, we call it uh, dependent variable. So, uh, as I told, you know, regression analysis is a statistical tool for investigating the relationship between uh, between one uh, dependent variable and uh, and one or more independent variables. So, here uh, I mean the whole objective of this you know uh, course is to uh, find uh, the relationship between the variables, okay? one response variable and uh, several uh, independent variables. Okay. Let me talk about uh, uh, scatter plot next. Well, 
scatter plot. So, here uh, these are the same observations you know uh, I, I, I have uh, uh, been given a set of observations say x i y i. So, x i stands for a regressor variable and y i stands for uh, uh, response variable and I have five observations like x 1 y 1, x 2 y 2, uh, x 3 y 3, x 4 y 4, x 5 y 5 and the scatter plot is uh, uh, is basically obtained by plotting this uh, uh, data on x y plane. Uh, formally, you can say that uh, scatter plot is a mathematical diagram to display values of two variables for a set of data. So, now uh, I will explain you know uh, the scatter plot for this Disney toy data. So, the first observation x 1 y 1 uh, is plotted here. Uh, the second observation is uh, x 2 y 2. Uh, so, that is uh, that is plotted here. Okay, I should say that you know usually uh, in, in regression analysis the uh, regressor variable is uh, plotted against the sorry along the x axis and uh, the response variable is uh, plotted along the y axis. So, uh, these two points uh, corresponds to this uh, two data point and then 3 2 is uh, here and I have next 4 2 here and uh, then 5 5 4 here. So, this is the uh, scatter plot corresponds to the data uh, for uh, Disney toy problem and uh, uh, this scatter plots are uh, used to uh, invest investigate the possible relationship between uh, two variables. So, the scatter plot scatter plot are used to investigate the possible relationship between the variables. Okay. Now, uh, if the scatter plot uh, indicates you know sort of linear uh, relationship between the variables, so in that case you know we, we need to go for uh, linear model, uh, but uh, if the scatter plot uh, indicates sort of you know uh, nonlinear relationship between x and y, then we need to go for uh, uh, like uh, you know maybe quadratic fit or the cubic fit or the higher order polynomial fit. And uh, looking at this scatter plot, uh, uh, I feel that you know this uh, scatter plot uh, indicates sort of uh, uh, linear relationship between uh, between the response variable and uh, and the regressor variable. So, uh, for this Disney toy 
uh, data, we would uh, go for uh, a linear uh, model between x and y and the objective of this module is to study you know how to uh, fit uh, fit linear relationships spe more specifically simple linear uh, regression um, um, for given a um, response variable and one a regression variable okay so now we will talk about uh, simple linear regression ok. So, simple linear model regression model is a model with a single regressor x that has a linear relationship with a response y ok so the simple linear regression model is uh, y equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x plus epsilon. I will explain it. So, here you know that y is a response variable x is a regressor variable Uh, beta naught is called uh, intercept beta 1 is called uh, slope and uh, epsilon is random error component ok uh, before going into the detail of this one, I uh, I want to mention one more thing. Like, uh, just recall the Disney toy uh, example. There, uh, we have uh, one variable that is uh, uh, the advertising cost, uh, and X uh, stands for advertising advertising cost. The other one is. Uh, uh, sales amount. So, I told that uh, x is a controlled variable. So, uh, you can decide how much money you want to spend for advertising. So, x is not a random variable, whereas y is a dependent variable, it, you cannot control the sales amount. Uh, so, y is dependent variable, it depends on a regressor variable and uh, it cannot be controlled. So, y is a random variable and x is not a random variable, it is a it is a controlled variable, you can say it is a deterministic uh, variable or mathematical variable, but x is not a random variable, y is a random variable. Okay. So, come back to this uh, uh, simple linear regression model y equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x plus epsilon. So, what is the meaning of this one is that for 
a given x for a given x that means given advertising cost the corresponding observation y that means the corresponding sales amount consists of the value consists of the value beta naught plus beta 1 x plus an amount epsilon. So, it says that given the advertising cost, the corresponding sales amount consists of the value beta naught plus beta 1 x plus some error component, I mean at the variable component. Okay. So, next uh, we will make uh, some basic uh, assumption on uh, the simple linear model. Uh, we now make some basic uh, assumption on the model. The model is y i equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x i plus epsilon i for i equal to 1 to n. So, before I wrote y equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x plus epsilon. Now, I am writing the model the same model for the ith observation. Okay. And here I said that this is a error random error component. So, what we assume that the first assumption is that epsilon i is a random variable with uh, 0 mean and uh, variance sigma square which is unknown. So, what you are given is that you are just given a set of observation x i y i for i equal to 1 that is all. And uh, from the scatter plot if you see that the relationship is linear then you are going to fit a simple linear regression model. And you are making some assumption on the model. So, epsilon i the error term is a random variable with 0 mean and variance sigma square which is unknown. So, that means expectation of epsilon i is equal to 0 and variance of epsilon i is equal to sigma square. The second assumption is that this this is very important part. Okay. And the second one is the epsilon i and epsilon j are uncorrelated i not equal to j. That means, so the covariance between epsilon i and epsilon j is equal to 0. The third one is that uh, epsilon i is a normally distributed random variable. with uh, mean 0 
and uh, variance sigma square. That means, uh, we are assuming that epsilon i follows normal distribution with uh, mean 0 and uh, variance sigma square. Okay. Now, what you can see that this epsilon i's are uncorrelated and they are normally distributed. So, under this normality assumption, now uh, this epsilon i's are not only uncorrelated, they are independent also, right. So, these are independent. Okay. So, what is the consequence, I mean, uh, of this one in terms of the response variable y i? So, what we are basically assuming is that, uh, okay, let me write down, uh, see, I said that y is a random variable and x is a controlled variable, it is it's a, uh, it's a deterministic variable, it is not a random variable, right. So, and we made several assumption on epsilon i. Now, what is the consequence of this uh, assumptions on y or in terms of say y. So, I can write, so y i is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x i plus epsilon i. From here, I can write expectation of y i is equal to expectation of beta naught plus beta 1 x i plus epsilon i, right. And uh, this is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x i just plus expectation of epsilon i which is equal to 0. And what is the variance of y i? Variance of y i is equal to variance of beta naught plus beta 1 x i plus epsilon i, which is equal to variance of epsilon i, because this, these are not random variable, right. So, which is equal to sigma square. And also, finally, we assume that epsilon i follows normal distribution with mean 0 and variance sigma square and they are independent. Okay? And the consequence of this one in terms of uh, the response variable y is, so y i follows normal distribution with mean 0, sorry, uh, with mean beta naught plus beta 1 x i and variance sigma square and they are also independent. Okay. So, the assumption on the error, error term like epsilon i uh, having uh, expectation 0, variance sigma square and uh, follows, they are uncorrelated and uh, uh, epsilon i follows normal distribution. So, finally, uh, epsilon i is uh, uh, following normal distribution with mean 0, variance sigma square and they are independent. So, the consequence of that in terms of response variable is that uh, y i follows normal distribution with mean beta naught plus beta 1 x i and variance constant variance sigma square. So, we are assuming that uh, the ith observation is from uh, normal distribution with mean beta naught plus beta 1 x i and the constant variance sigma square. Okay? So, uh, given a set of data, you know, uh, you need to you, you need to be very careful about whether whether your data set satisfy this uh, basic assumption or not. Okay, but uh, if uh, if the data set is not satisfying the basic assumptions, 
then uh, you can't uh, go for the usual uh, least square feet and all these things. Uh, I will be talking about those things uh, maybe in this class only. Uh, so, there will be uh, a topic called uh, model adequacy checking. So, that talks about uh, given a data set you know while fitting a simple linear regression model uh, how to check whether the basic assumptions are true or not. Okay. So, we have to wait for that uh, model uh, adequacy checking topic. Uh, so, uh, uh, let me once again you know graphically uh, say uh, what is the uh, how this situation I mean how this uh, uh, assumption uh, is uh, illustrated uh, in this figure. So, we made the assumption like uh, epsilon i follows normal distribution with 0 means and variance sigma square and they are independent. right? And the consequence of that in terms of response variable is that y i follows this. So, what we are assuming is that uh, this is my x 1 y 1 data, this is x 2 y 2, this is x n y n and this line is y equal to uh, beta naught plus beta 1 x. Okay. So, this you can put also i anyway. So, the first uh, the situation like I mean the assumption in terms of y uh, is you know graphically illustrated here. So, it says that the ith observation uh, or the ith value of the response variable y i that is coming from a normal distribution with mean beta naught plus beta 1 x i and variance sigma square. So, uh, this is the normal, so x y 1, so this is the data x 1, sorry x 1 y 1. So, y 1 is from normal distribution with mean beta naught plus beta 1 x 1 and variance sigma square. So, this is from this, distribu uh, this distribution, it is a normal distribution okay. and x 2 is again from normal distribution with different mean with mean beta naught plus beta 1 x 2 and variance uh, constant variance sigma square. Okay. I mean uh, this part is uh, you know uh, it is it is necessary that you know you understand uh, this part or the uh, basic assumptions we made. Uh, so, uh, so assuming this means uh, you are assuming that uh, the response variable uh, follows normal distribution and the ith observation is coming from uh, the normal distribution with mean beta naught plus beta 1 x i and constant variance sigma square. Okay. So, next uh, uh, we will move for uh, least square estimation of the parameters. Okay. So, we talked about uh, we know what is uh, the simple linear regression model y equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x plus epsilon. So, least square estimation of the parameters means estimating the regression coefficients beta naught and beta 1. So, this is called intercept and this is called uh, slope and fitting a simple linear regression model is nothing but estimating this regression coefficients. So, it says that the parameter beta naught and beta 1 are unknown and must be estimated using the data. So, what you are given is that you are just given a set of observations. 
uh, n observations and you have to fit uh, if the scatter plot indicates that you know there is linear relationship uh, you can go for a simple linear regression fit and also in the in the in regression analysis you know the starting point is generally uh, uh, fitting a linear model okay so suppose uh, well so this is the scatter plot for the disney toy data and uh, and we have to fit uh, so we have to est estimate the regression coefficients that means we have to uh, fit a straight line for the given data. Suppose the fitted model is uh, y hat which is equal to beta naught hat plus beta 2 hat into x. So, this is the fitted line. Uh, and you can see that I have drawn two lines, uh, the same scatter plot. Uh, this is one straight line, say suppose this is my fitted uh, uh, model for this scatter plot or for this data, and this is another fit. Now, which one is better, whether this one is better or this one is better? Okay. Well, so, I uh, will come back to this slide uh, again. Let me write uh, one important thing. Uh, the line fitted by least square is the one that uh, makes the sum of squares of all vertical discrepancy as small as possible. So, this is the you know, main idea behind uh, the least square fit. Uh, the line fitted by least square technique is the one that makes the sum of square of all vertical discrepancy as small as possible. So, what is the meaning of that? So, what the least square technique does is that it fits a line such that what I mean by this vertical discrepancy, this is the vertical discrepancy uh, for the fourth observation. So, for the fourth observation, uh, this is x 4 basically this is x 4 y 4 right x 4 y 4 is equal to 4 2 and suppose this is the fit this is the fitted line y hat is equal to beta naught hat plus beta 1 hat x and then this point is nothing but x 4 y 4 hat right so the vertical discrepancy is nothing but let me write that as uh, e4 that is called residual for the fourth observation so e4 is equal to uh, this distance that is uh, y4 minus y4 hat so this is what the 
uh, what we mean by the vertical discrepancy and we what the least square estimation or least square technique does is that uh, it fits a model such that this e i square for i equal to 1 to n in general, but here it is 1 to 5, this is minimum. So, to, to in order to say you know which fit is good, whether this is uh, good or this, this one is good. So, what you do is that you compute uh, this uh, um, e i square, this is called residual sum of square, this is S S residual. You compute S S residual for this fit, you compute S S residual for this fit and you see which one is smaller, that one is better than the other one. And what the least square estimation does is that it computes, uh, it, it uh, provides a fit which has minimum S S residual. Okay? So, I hope that you know you understood the basic uh, and uh, very uh, nice and uh, you know natural uh, idea behind the least square uh, estimation. Uh, so, we estimate beta naught and uh, beta 1, so that the sum of square of all the differences between the observation y i and the fitted line is minimum. So, the meaning of this one is that you compute all the residuals E 1, E 2, E 3, E n and then you come uh, then uh, this beta naught and beta 1 uh, are estimated. So, that this summation E i square i equal to 1 to n is minimum. Okay. So, I will write this. Uh, so, uh, you estimate beta naught and beta 1, so that the sum of square of all the difference between the observation y i and the fitted line is minimum. That means, uh, S which is nothing but S S residual sum of square residual, which is equal to E i square i equal to 1 to n, which is nothing but y i minus y i hat square, which is nothing but y i minus beta naught hat minus beta 1 hat x i square is minimum. Okay. So, so you have to estimate, uh, you have to find this beta naught hat and beta 1 hat, which is uh, beta naught hat is, is the estimate of beta naught and beta 1 hat is the estimate of beta 1, uh, such that this is minimum. Okay. So, the, the least square estimator of beta naught and beta 1 that is uh, beta naught hat and beta 1 hat they must satisfy uh, the following two equations. Uh, you differentiate S with respect to uh, beta naught and at the point beta naught hat beta 1 hat 
So, let me just write down what is S. S is equal to summation y i minus uh, beta naught hat minus beta 1 hat x i square. So, this is what the S is. So, you find beta naught and beta 1 such that this is minimum. Uh, so, this one is equal to the partial derivative of this one with respect to beta naught is minus 2 y i minus beta naught hat minus beta 1 hat x i uh, equal to 0. So, this is one equation and the other one is partial derivative of S with respect to beta 1 at the point beta naught hat beta 1 hat. So, now we are differentiating with respect to beta 1. So, that is equal to minus 2 summation y i minus beta naught hat it is beta 1 hat x i into x i right. So, this is equal to 0. Uh, so, these are called these two equations are called normal equations normal equations. Okay. Since there are two unknown parameter you will get two uh, normal equations and you can see that these normal equations are uh, independent. right? Uh, so, you can uniquely fit uh, beta naught and beta 1. So, the estimator beta naught hat and beta 1 hat are solution of the equation uh, summation y i minus beta naught hat minus beta 1 hat x i equal to 0 and uh, x i into y i minus beta naught hat minus beta 1 hat x i equal to 0. So, uh, so you have two independent normal equations and from here you can uh, estimate beta naught hat and beta 1 hat. Uh, so, we will be doing that. Let me start with this one. So, what the first equation is summation y i minus beta naught hat minus beta 1 hat x i equal to 0. So, from here I can write that summation y i minus n beta naught hat because this sum is over from 0 to from 1 to n okay. uh, minus beta 1 hat some x i, i is from 1 to n this is equal to 0. Okay. So, uh, then n beta naught hat is equal to uh, sum over y i minus beta 1 hat summation x i. And from here I can write that beta naught hat is equal to y bar minus uh, beta 1 hat x bar. So, of course, where y bar is equal to summation x i, x bar is equal to summation x i by n and uh, y bar is equal to summation y i by n. Okay. So, this involves uh, beta 1 hat. Uh, so, we need to uh, estimate beta 1 hat also. Uh, 
uh, I mean we need to find the beta 1 hat also. So, let me start with the second uh, normal equation and that was uh, summation x i into y i minus beta naught hat minus beta 1 hat x i equal to 0. And just now what we obtained is that beta naught hat is equal to uh, y bar minus beta 1 hat x bar. right? So, I can plug this one here. So, what I will get is that x i y i, okay, let me write one more line minus y bar minus plus beta 1 hat x bar minus beta 1 hat x i is equal to 0. So, from here I can write that uh, x i into y i minus y bar is equal to beta 1 hat sum over x i minus x bar. I hope you understand this one. So, from here I can write that my beta 1 hat is equal to sum over y i minus y bar into x i by sorry I missed uh, one x i here uh, by sum over x i minus x bar into x i. Okay, so, this can be written as sum over y i minus y bar into x i minus x bar by summation x i minus x bar into x i minus x bar. So, this is x i minus x bar square. So, what I have added is that I have added a term here. I, I can prove that see uh, because of the fact that I can prove that y i minus y bar into x bar is 0. So, uh, let me just you know prove that this is equal to sum over y i x bar minus summation x bar y bar. And if I write uh, you know y bar is equal to 1 by n summation y i. So, summation y i I can write as n into uh, y bar. So, that is n into x bar into y bar minus this sum is from 1 to n and it is independent of pi. So, n into x bar and y bar. So, this is 0. Okay. Also, we will use the notation that this is equal to s x y by s x x. Okay, so, uh, what we got is that finally, uh, we got that uh, beta naught hat is equal to y bar minus beta 1 hat x bar and also we got that beta 1 hat is equal to summation y i minus y bar into x i minus x bar by summation x i minus x bar whole square. So, uh, we have uh, learned uh, how to uh, fit a simple linear regression model uh, given a set of observations say x i y i for i equal to 1. We know how to fit uh, a simple linear regression model like y i is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x i plus epsilon and here are the least square estimators beta naught hat and beta 1 hat. And uh, in the next class, we will be talking about several properties of this uh, least square estimators and uh, it can be proved that you know these are, these are the best linear unbiased estimators uh, using uh, Gauss Markov theorems. Thank you.